there's a good chance at some point you have seen someone practice aim at the highest level of play in some tournaments or they just play games like Counter-Strike where they have a fixed crosshair that they can customize in the middle of their screen. And this crosshair doesn't move, it doesn't change shape depending on, I don't know, what weapon you are using or anything like that. So let me just show you how to get that for yourself in any game you want, which will not only make it much easier for you to transition between the games, but will also make it much better to go from practicing to actually using the skill of aiming inside a game. So to do that, I recommend you a tool like AimLab where you can customize this. So I can change the length of the lines, I can change thickness, whatever. I can do a lot of things here. I can put the small green lines further away from each other. I can even just have a dot in the middle or some sort of circle, whichever thing you prefer. This has really nice customization, but it's also measured in pixels. So you don't need to worry about some in-game percentages or not full values. Like Counter-Strike has like add 0 0.25 to the thickness, whatever that means. You can also change the colors to whatever you want, even the opacity. But I won't recommend doing that. <laughs> Just have it some fixed color like green or red or whatever, pink, whichever you like. Once you are done with that, aim at some clear spot. Take a screenshot. And now we need to get the tool to do this for other games. This tool is called PlayClaw 7. It's the latest iteration. I previously used an older version of this called PlayClaw 6 and 5. But for example, 5 doesn't work very well for me anymore. And 6 had the weird overlay where it was always telling you it was in the demo version. I showed it in my older video about Battlefield where I demonstrated how massive of an advantage it is to have a crosshair in that game. You just have this on Steam. You get it for free. You don't need to buy anything here or anything like that. Once you have it in your library, you are set. This is also the reason why it's so safe, because it's a tool on Steam. It is not some external thing uh, which someone could label as some sort of hack. This is literally on Steam. So you are 100% safe from, for example, Steam anti-cheat, because Steam doesn't ban people for using other things on Steam, since that would kind of be weird, since they don't sell hacks or anything like that. Now, once you have it, all you really do is you run it. I already started it for myself, so we don't need to wait too long. You just, if, if the window doesn't appear, you just go here, open main window. Should look like this. It's pretty useful to have it start minimized once you have it set up. And now, when we have our screenshot, we go to paint, we zoom in on the crosshair as much as we can. So the pixels are clearly visible and I can easily tell at what coordinates they are. Here at the bottom left, it's showing you the coordinates at which you are aiming. So you just repaint this slowly and write them down into a text file, for example, like this. I already wrote them for even different resolutions. You can find this one on my Discord, for example. This is the one I prefer the most. And once you have done that, you open the scene in the PlayClaw window 
to edit it. If it doesn't open for whatever reason, which there is a bug with that, I think, you can also just open your game. In this case, I have here a GTA. And you press Control and Backspace to uh, have the scene editor open. And what I did here is I added all the colors. Well, colors. They are a type of thing called solid color. The way you add them is you just select from this green plus to add solid color. So just add this massive box. Now you change the properties. I'm working with Clay Jackson. Talk about high maintenance. You set the RGB values to whatever you want. This is a little bit of clicking. And now here in the positions and scale, you just set it to a very low scale, like 0 0.01. And you now give it the positions you wrote down previously. And that's it. Once you are done with that, you can do the next one and so on. And if you are like me and you sometimes play on different resolutions, or you want to be able to turn this on and off, what you do is you can also set a key bind for each of them. So I have this 2560 uh, width sized one for O plus one, it's overlay one, and the other one for 1920, I have it as O2. And that's all you really need to do. Now you close the editor, and even when I go now into full screen, this actual full screen, by the way, this is not full screen borderless or something like that. This is actually proper full screen. I can just press O1 and you can see the tiny green tri uh, crosshair on my screen. And I want to show you this in, in action because, for example, GTA is a really good game where this comes into play. One of the weapons that sets the decent players are, apart from the really good ones is the use of the homing missile launcher, which normally, if I'm trying to aim at someone, let's say I want to hit that dude somewhere off there in the distance, you can see there is basically no indication. If I just turn it off the crosshair, you see this much better. There's just nothing to aim at, because this is automatically locking on to the vehicles around. So I'm I, like, tell me right now, am I aiming straight at him or not? Yeah, I was aiming like three pixels to the left of him or something like that. And when I turn this on, I can easily hit this guy precisely. Of course, this works with spamming the weapons and so on. And allows you to be, in general, much more effective in games. And even in other... For example, when I'm running, there's no crosshair when I'm running with any weapon. But I can already have my crosshair pre-pointed at the point where I will see the enemy. And this helps massively with practicing things like crosshair placements in games. Sure, some games will have something in the middle of your screen, like this white dot when you are running, but most of them don't, and especially when you are in the transition from aiming to hip firing, it will disappear and you will still have like a split second where you can aim. That's pretty much it for this video. Please like it, share it, subscribe, whatever. Get this out there because I have seen so many people wondering how to do this. How can you have a crosshair in a game and they consider this some sort of epic hack or 
exploit or whatever when it's literally just a tool you can download for free and anyone can use it. And it also might help you or your friends get better at games, get better results from practice. In, in general, there isn't really a downside from setting this up whatsoever. So yeah, have a great day.